Good afternoon. Um, I just want to take a, a moment to provide you with a, a small update on the ongoing dispute uh, that British Columbia has triggered with Albertans and all Canadians. As everyone now knows, uh, last week, or a little over a week ago, the Government of BC proposed new regulations to its Environmental Management Act. The fifth proposal, point five, proposed that regulatory restrictions be placed on the increase of diluted, diluted bitumen, bitumen transportation. What British Columbians, Albertans, and all Canadians need to understand is that under the Canadian Constitution, BC has no authority to impose such a regulation. It's unconstitutional, and of course, as I've said before, it is an attack on Alberta's primary industry and the hundreds of thousands of jobs across the country that go with it, including tens of thousands of jobs in BC. So last week, as you know, I responded to BC's provocative and unconstitutional threat by suspending talks on purchasing electricity and by stopping the importation of BC wine to Alberta. As I've said many times, neither of these were easy decisions. We don't want a trade war. But the government of British Columbia must understand that unconstitutional attacks on the jobs and the economic security of their fellow citizens in a neighboring province are simply not on. If they didn't get it a week ago, I certainly hope that they get it now. Now, my understanding is that the federal government is talking with British Columbia. As we enter the, or end the second week of this dispute, for the time being, I am willing to let those talks continue without further retaliatory action. Let me be clear. It's in British Columbia's power to put this issue to rest by acknowledging that it overstepped its authority by making this threat. They can drop point five, follow the law, and halt their campaign of harassment of the Trans Mountain, Trans Mountain Pipeline. Or they can dig in their heels and pretend they are a separate country with powers to make whatever laws they want with no regard for the Constitution or the views and rights of other Canadians. We don't seek an escalation, but if BC continues to insist that they have rights to attack Alberta's economy that they don't have, we will have no choice to respond. Tomorrow, we will be launching new tools so that Albertans and Canadians who want to voice their support for a strong economy and a strong environment can do so to the BC and Canadian governments. In as, as well, later this week, I will be meeting with task force members to map out additional strategic uh, selections. And of course, I'll continue our job of reaching out to Albertans from all walks of life to join us in this fight. This is a critical moment for our country. We can either act as one nation with a common future, committed to jobs, prosperity, social justice, and a clean environment, or we can continue this unnecessary fight. The ball is in BC's court.